Ciao friends! Welcome to the whiteboard! In this uh, series, I want to use a whiteboard to describe abstract concepts we have in DAX and in Power BI in a more interactive way, something that I usually do during our in-person training. So, the goal is to present a number of short videos about each individual concept, these abstract concepts that are invisible in the DAX language, and try to create a few pills that you can use together with other training material you should have uh, so that you better have a clear idea about how DAX works. The first video is about the filter context. How many of you struggle with this concept? And so let's see what the filter context is from a conceptual point of view. So let's head over to my whiteboard. So let's start with a simple report, a Contoso report where we have the product brand divided by year with a sales amount divided by year and a filter over unit price. So in order to explain what the filter context is, I cut this part of the report and I copy this on my whiteboard so I can use the whiteboard to describe what is going on. And for example, what is the filter context for this cell? Let's say Contoso. 2019. So if we think about what the filter context is, remember, a filter context is a table. And so the filter context in reality is a set of filters that contains one or more of these tables. And each filter that we have in the report corresponds to a table in the filter context. So how many filters do we have here? We have a filter over the year, 2019, a filter over the brand, Contoso, and we have a filter over unit price. If I try to draw these filters, I have the following description. So I create a table that has only one column and one value for our year filter. So this is year 2019. So I have a single table that describes this filter. Same for Contoso. So my filter Contoso is another table that has a, a single column brand and the content of this table is a single row, Contoso. Now, what about the unit price? Now, the unit price contains a, um, a filter which is greater than 100. Now, this filter is a list of values and the way to describe this filter in the filter context from a conceptual point of view, is just another table. But guess what? This table is much longer. It has many rows. So my unit price, UP, just because my writing is not that good, to be honest, uh, I have to include here all the unique values that exist in this column that are greater than 100. So I have 101, 102, maybe 105, 105.50, and so on. I don't know how many of these filters I actually have, but the filter context contains all of them. And so what happens once I create a measure that manipulates the filter context? So let's go to my report and let's see a first example where I have a different measure. Instead of sales amount, I have uh, a measure called sales of red products. So the definition of the measure is this one, calculate sales amount product color equal to red. And so you see that with this syntax, so let's copy this syntax here and let's move this syntax to our, dash, uh, to our whiteboard. So if I move the filter context here and I paste the definition of this uh, uh, measure, you notice that the new filter we have is this, uh, let's say product color equal to red. So this is a new filter that is added to the filter context. And so what happens is that calculator receives the current filter context, which is the one that we described before. But now we have an additional filter here, which has the color, the color, oh, let's, let's write this better, the color, which is equal to red. So in this case, we have a single row in this table that describes the, the name of the color. And in this filter content, in this new filter context, the measure sales amount is evaluated producing a different number. 
But what happens when we do a ratio and we want to remove some filter? So this is the case for the next example, which is uh, the measure that computes the value. So let's take a look at the, at the result before. So you see that this measure is computing the percentage of the year for each uh, column. Each column is a year. So let's see if I can show the actual report. So you see that the grand total for each year is 100%. And we see that um, the value, the, the, the weight of each brand in each year. So how does it work? So the idea is that my measure is computing this with a classical technique. So we have a division that divides the value of the sales amount, which is the original value we have seen in the first, uh, uh, in the first report, divided by sales all brands. Now, sales all brands has the purpose of removing just the filter we have here over the columns of this uh, table, keeping all the other filters. And we obtain that by writing this code. So in this case, the definition of the measure is a calculate with a remove filters. And remember, remove filters correspond to writing all. So I could have this other definition and writing all product brand, we would obtain exactly the same result, no differences. So let's comment all. I prefer to use remove filters because actually what we have is actually a removal of the filter from the filter context. So let's copy again this code. So I copy this code. Now I go back to my whiteboard and let me remove from the whiteboard what we created with the color. We don't want to see this now. And I paste the code for the, oops, I don't want to, I don't want to rotate this. So let's see if I can find a way to fix it. No, okay, let's reduce it. And I, we will see how to rotate this leg. You know, the electronic wiper sometimes is harder to use than a physical one. But what happens with this remove filter? So my remove filter here is going to just remove from the filter context the filter over the brand column. So what happens is that this filter is removed. So in other words, by removing this filter, what happens is that now this calculate computes the sales amount measure in a filter content that only has year and unit price. And this is exactly what we had in our report. So let's go back to our report. This is what we had in the corresponding place here, because once we remove the filter from the brand, we have actually just the value uh, corresponding to the grand total for the year. So we have seen that the filter context is a set of filters. Each filter is a table and our filter context can be represented as a set of these tables that can be manipulated by using Calculate. Calculate can add filters and remove filters from the filter context, executing measures in a modified filter context, providing the result that you want for your measures. Enjoy DAX!